Here we go then, our next couple. This is David Anderson and Victoria Best from Sittingbourne. David's looking for work at the moment and Victoria's a quality assistant. Uh, they might have the same names as Posh and Bex, but they tell us their bank accounts have no similarity <laughs> whatsoever. But they are hoping that a big win would allow them to have a very posh wedding next year, with all sorts of details they're dreaming of. Uh, David says he compares this show to queuing for the oblivion rider Alton Towers. You want to get on, even though you're terrified, but once you're in the seat, you want to stay there for ages and ages. And David's worried that Victoria will nag him tonight in the seat, as if. But she says... Women only sound like they're nagging because their brains are 10% bigger than men's. <laughs> so men have to be told more than once. <laughs> Victoria. It's true. <laughs> it's Apparently not. It is. It's not. <laughs> I'm not You're saying really a word. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying a word. Oh, I'm having a row. <laughs> <laughs> what would be, I mean, realistically, to get the wedding of your dreams, what sort of money are you talking about? £8,000 would pay for what we've already booked. Six Hang on, what you've already booked? We have booked a reception. <laughs> but you can't afford it? No, no. <laughs> right. And when's this going to happen? Uh, August next year. All oh, right, so you've got some time to get a few quid together. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully you can do it a lot more quickly uh, sitting here. Yeah. Well, listen, I hope it works out really well for you tonight. Now, to help David and Victoria get to that million, they have, as always, those three lifelines. They have 50-50, they have phone a friend, and they can ask this fine audience. Now, remember, on couple shows, I can't accept a final answer until they both agree on it, however long that may take. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? OK, question number one for £100. Someone in happy high spirits is said to be full of what? Beans. Beads. Beets. Bears. Beans. Is the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> That's rather good, that. You were in unison there, you two. See if you can uh, do that times another 14. I'll give you a million quid. Uh, question number two for £200. Which of these is a sponge baked over fruit and inverted for serving? Upside down cake. Inside out dessert. Back to front gatto. Hiddledy piddledy pudding. Upside down cake. Yep. I... Is anyone you've ever heard of? It's the right answer, you've got £200. <laughs> Have a look, question number three, £300. Which of these is an object used to measure angles? Protocol. Protractor. Protein. Protoplasm. <laughs> Protractor. Protractor. It's very good, you two. 300 quid, no problem. <laughs> Question number four for 500, here it comes. Which of these words can mean both an attendant and a sheet of paper? Folio, leaf, page, ream. Page. page. Very good this year, isn't it? Final answer? Yeah, final answer. right answer, you've got 500 pounds. <laughs> Have a look at question number five. Use a lifeline if you have to. Make sure you give me the right answer to this. You go home with at least 1,000. You're on your way to that dream wedding. Question number five. Here it is. Complete the title of the Bruce Springsteen hit, Born in the Ghetto, the Hayfield, the USA, the Garden. The USA. The USA. <laughs> it's the right answer. You've got 1,000 pounds. Guaranteed. Now, how are you feeling? A lot better? No. No, no. not really. Oh, fine. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> um, well, you've got a thousand guaranteed, which is a lot better than uh, the first big worry. Everybody, they're not going to get to that. You're in good shape. You're ten away from a million. You've got all three lifelines. Uh, you're three correct answers away from your big wedding dream of eight thousand mm -hmm. pounds. Have a look. Question number six for two thousand. Here it comes. What's the name for an oil well from which the oil flows freely without a pump? Gusher. Gurgler. Guzzler. Gulper. Gusher. You sure? Yeah. OK, yeah. Gusher. Final answer. Very trusting. Yeah. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> 
gusher. Final answer, gusher. Yep, final answer. Yes. It's the right answer. You got two thousand pounds. Number seven for four thousand. You still got fifty-fifty. You still got phone a friend. You still got ask the audience. Have a look. Question number seven is worth four thousand. What was the profession of Jimmy Carter before he became U.S. president? Lawyer, railroad manager, cowboy, peanut farmer. Ask the audience. What are you thinking? Nothing. We don't know. Ah. Uh, well, should we trust them? Ask, yeah. ask, ask the, the audience. audience. Do we trust them? Yeah. Let's see what they say before we decide whether we uh, trust them or not. OK, audience, let's get Dave and Victoria. Uh, up to £4,000. This is the question. What was the profession of Jimmy Carter before he became US president? A, B, C or D, all vote now. Uh, 21% say lawyer, 74%, it's quite high, 74% say he was a peanut farmer. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I'm very happy with that, because I was um, deliberating, sort of, between that a and a lawyer. Yeah. yeah. You so, weren't. You hadn't got a clue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we you were. tell me you hadn't got a clue. <laughs> You're going to play? We'll play, play, yeah, D, D, a peanut, peanut farmer. farmer. Yeah. Is that unison again? It's good. <laughs> final answer. Yes, yes. final answer. It's the right answer, you got £4,000. <laughs> Looking quite pleased with life, actually, you got £4,000. You wanted desperately to get to £8,000. Uh, you got two lifelines to hopefully get you there. This is the question. You don't have to play this. You can obviously walk away with four. You would lose three if you gave me a wrong answer. Uh, give me a right answer, you double your money, you get £8,000. Have a look. Question number eight of the possible 50. Which fictional detective constantly refers to the little grey cells? Miss Marple, Father Brown, Hercule Poirot, Lord Peter Whimsey. I have no idea. Poirot, I you... think, springs to mind. But we need the 8,000, so should we go? Well, how sure? 50. 50%. Yeah. You trusted him earlier, Victoria. I don't trust him now. Ah. <laughs> Say what you think, Victoria. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you want to Take do? Take 50-50. That's what it's there for. Yeah, OK, 50-50. Yeah. OK, computer, take away two wrong answers. Please leave David and Victoria the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Mmm, still there. Then so's Miss Marple. Um, you really want this sum of money, you want £8,000, yeah. but if you give me a wrong answer, you drop back to 1000 You can phone a friend. Who should we phone? Um, good question. Alan? Or Chris? Chris? Yeah? I think Chris more than Alan. Yeah. OK, we'll phone Chris. Who's Chris? He's a friend, and he plays in our local quiz team. <laughs> right, tell him 30 seconds. Uh, two possible answers, one of those is worth £8,000. You don't have to take his answer. You can walk away with 4000 Hello? Chris? Yeah. Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here, good evening. Hello. Hi, I've got David and Victoria. This is um, David Anderson and Victoria Best, yep. by the way. That David and Victoria on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yep. Uh, they're doing OK. They're on £4,000. Uh, Chris, they're stuck on one particular question. Now, they've used a 50-50, yep. so there are only two possible answers. One of these answers is worth £8,000. One of them would obviously cost them £3,000. Yep. OK. Next question here will be Victoria. She'll tell you the question and the two possible answers in 30 seconds. Okay, lots of luck. Okay. Victoria, time starts now. 
Hi, Chris. Hi. Which fictional detective constantly refers to the little grey cells? Is it Miss Marple or Hercule Poirot? Hercule Poirot. You sure? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yep. Thank you. OK. Thank you. Hi. Bye. Okay, well, you didn't yep. think he'd know, did you? No. <laughs> you still might not, of course. He <laughs> no. might be mad. We'll play. Yeah, we'll, very confident. We will play. We'll play C. C, Hercule Poirot. Yeah. Final answer. Yes. It's the right answer. He's just won you £8,000. <laughs> Victoria, there was you doubting him as well. You were going, oh, don't bring him, maybe a waste of space. <laughs> You've got £8,000, you've used up those two lifelines, but at least it's made you absolutely certain you've got £8,000 at the moment. Question number nine is for 16000 It's your call. Have a look at it. In which sport are pieces called stones aimed at a target called the house? Bull. Croquet. Curling. Skittles. It's C, curling. <laughs> Are you... Yes, I'm 100%. Yeah. OK, curling. Play. If you're wrong... I'm dead. <laughs> you're not even as well as dead. <laughs> I, you look forward to being dead. It'll be a blunt knife. <laughs> You won. I'm 100%. Why are you so certain? I just am. <laughs> well, balls don't use stones. It's the not... only one on there is that uses stones is curling. And it's not. I know. It's not croquet. It's not croquet. It's, croquet, it's, not, it's skittles. not skittles. I know that. It's curling. Definitely. You've got to both give me your final answer. If he's wrong, sure. you've just lost seven thousand pounds. Promise. Yep. yep. Okay, we'll final play answer. curling. Final answer, Victoria. Yeah. yeah. You had eight thousand pounds. You had the dream wedding. You said you came for. You just doubled it to sixteen thousand pounds. <laughs> you were dead. <laughs> oh, you were so great. Sixteen thousand. It's easier when you're sitting at home. Yeah. Right, oh, don't lose it. What have you do? <laughs> do not lose this. Oh, just go. Don't even look at it. Just go. <laughs> oh, Alright, yeah, yeah. No, serious business. Because the next question would guarantee you a huge check for the pair of you for £32,000. I'd be delighted to pay you that. But if you give me a wrong answer here, you lose £15,000. You have no lifelines. Question number 10. It's worth £32,000. Dame Judy Dench. Why are you grinning at me, Victoria? Do you think you know this? If I don't, he does. <laughs> All right, OK. No pressure then, um, David. <laughs> yeah. Take your time. Have a look at it. Dame Judy Dench won an Oscar for playing which historical character? Queen Elizabeth I. Florence Nightingale. Anne Boleyn. Mary, Queen of Scots. Queen Elizabeth I. Play. Final answer. Final answer. You just won £32,000! <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> oh, that is so nice! Just go for the next one. You know the film? Do you know the movie? No. <laughs> yeah. You don't care. It was uh, Shakespeare in Love. Never seen it. <laughs> Who cares? Hey. Have a look. Listen, you came here tonight dreaming of getting to that point. You've now got whatever happens, £32,000. Oh, can I hold it? You can take it. Thank you. <laughs> it's in your name, he said, it's rather mine. pointedly. <laughs> How'd you feel? Um, uh, fantastic. Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> oh. Fantastic honeymoon. Yeah. Yep. Rid of all the debts. Brilliant. And start new ones. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's your choice. That's your prerogative.